a favorable discard. Let me just uh, change the settings here. Mm. Okay. So hopefully you can all uh, see that screen now. And what we're going to look at is some aspects of declare a play where you can sometimes gain an advantage if you can get the opponents to discard something that will help you. So let's have a look at this hand here where we bid one no trump and my partner raises me to three no trump and the opponents lead the queen of spades. And let's stop to make a plan. And we're going to stop by counting our top tricks and then look at opportunities for more. So uh, I don't have a poll on this, but would someone like to count up their top definite tricks that you can take right away and tell me how many of those you have? Five. <laughs> That's not the right answer. Uh -uh. <laughs> six. Six. It's six, yes, yes. You do, yes. There are six top tricks, two spades, three hearts and one club. And obviously you can make more tricks here in diamonds. So you should be able to make three diamond tricks. You're always gonna to lose to the ace, um, but you've got three additional tricks to go with your six top tricks. Now, apart from the diamonds, is there a chance to make any other tricks anywhere else? Hearts. Yeah. Hearts. You, yeah, you 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 might make another heart trick. Um, and what you're hoping for is that of the missing hearts, of which there are six, if they divide three three, you can make um you may be able to make another trick there. So let's um replay this and see see what happens. Let's suppose you decide to um well. You, you may be thinking about whether to win this first trick or not, but it's actually a very good idea to win this first trick. In fact, if I click on the GIB button, it will tell me that I'm in danger of going down by three tricks if I don't win this one. Why is that? Because the opponents could win this and could uh, shift to a club where I've only got one stopper. So you do want to win this one. And... Having won that trick with the Ace of Spades, I've got the first poll of the afternoon, which is which suit are you going to play now? OK, so I hope this is a relatively easy question. And the question is, having won the Ace of Spades, which suit do you think Declarer should play now? And let's look at the results. And let me just give that. And we can see that most of you, three quarters have gone for diamonds and a quarter went for hearts. And you may think it doesn't matter too much, but the right suit to play is definitely the diamonds first. Um, you're only ever going to make three diamond tricks but you have a hope to make four heart tricks and your best bet to make a fourth heart trick, apart from the hearts being divided evenly three, three is that someone's got a four card suit and discards one as you play the diamonds. So it's a very good plan to play the diamonds first and it gives you an extra chance, if you like, to make an extra heart trick if someone has four hearts and discards one. So what I'm going to do is play the diamonds. If they don't take their ace, I'll keep playing them. And let's actually bring up the four hands at this stage and see what happens. Um, so I play a diamond. Again, they may or may not take their ace, but eventually they're going to take their uh, ace. And when they do, when they get in, um, they may shift back to a spade. Let's suppose they do play a spade. West plays the 10 and you take the ace there. And what has happened here is that West, if I just rewind a few tricks, if I just, sorry, if I just go, if I just go back to the beginning, you'll see that West actually started with four, um, four hearts. But as the diamonds were played, they were not quite sure what to discard. And 
<clears throat> and at this point here, when the, when the diamond is played, they not sure really what to discard. They they like to keep their spades because that was a the suit they led, and they're hoping to establish that suit. And they'd like to keep their four of clubs so that the king of clubs is guarded. And they may well decide to play a heart. And if they do play a heart, then if you're keeping track of hearts, when they when you get back in, you can now take your last diamond. Again, they might lead a heart, which again is to your advantage. And then you'll be able to play your hearts and take four tricks there because they discarded hearts. You've now got just one more trick coming your way, the Ace of Clubs, and you'll lose the last two. But you'll make 10 tricks on that one. And you did that really just by um, playing off the diamonds, making, giving them an opportunity to discard hearts. And you can see West really didn't have any particular clue that you had, um, you were going to try to stab, take four heart tricks. Uh, so they, they may well decide to discard a heart there. If you played this by cashing the hearts first, then it doesn't really work. Um, so in other words, if you win that first trick with the ace, if you start by cashing three rounds of hearts, the ace, king, queen, West will follow three times and West will then realize that their jack of hearts is good. So they won't throw it away. So when the diamonds are played, They'll keep their jack of hearts and they'll discard uh, spades if necessary to make sure they keep that jack of hearts. So this was a relatively simple one, but one where it's important to think about how many tricks might you make in each suit. You can only ever make three diamonds, but you can make um, all the hearts if if you if by playing the diamonds you get someone to di uh, discard a heart if they didn't divide evenly. So um, any questions on that? Let's go on to the next one. Tony, Tony yep. can I ask you something? Not really relevant to this lesson, but what made you decide to take the first spade with the ace and not with the king? Oh, um, I don't think it matters here. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, looking at the two hands, it's nice to give it, if I'm going to win that first trick, I would look at the two hands and think, well, where do I have entries? Where am I lacking in entries? But here, both hands, I think, are reasonably strong. So yeah. it doesn't really matter. OK, thank you. But on other hands, of course, it might matter. Doesn't Let's, it matter, uh, Tony, because you don't, you might as well play something they can see rather than something they can't. OK, so, so you think it would be better to play the king there? Well, I'm just saying that you could do that. Mm, mm. If you're saying it doesn't matter, then you might as well play the card they know you hold. Right, right. Um, okay, yeah, that's possible. I, I think, yeah, th there are there are hands where West might have led, for example, from the top of a an internal sequence, and they've got the Ace Queen. That that may um, uh, that 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 might might help. Yeah. Okay. I I don't know if it that that is that is the point. I don't know if it make, makes a difference here though. But um, anyway. Um, Let's have a look at another one here. And we're going to start actually with a bidding problem here. North South are playing transfers here. So South opens one no trump. North bids two diamonds, which is a transfer to hearts. So their partner bids two hearts. And the second poll of the afternoon is what should North bid now? So don't answer verbally. And here comes the poll of uh, what do you think North should rebid? OK, let's um, share the results with you. And 60% have gone for three no Trump and the other 40% have gone for something else. Two no Trump, three hearts or four hearts. And um, I'm the correct answer is three no Trump. And if you bid something else, uh, you are wrong. 
Um, the way you show a five card major when you're playing transfers uh, and you have enough points for game is you transfer to the major and then normally bid just three no trump. And if you're not, um, uh, if you're in the 40% who got that wrong, do have a look at one of these documents I've got on my website on transfers, um, how you show uh, weak, intermediate and strong hands with five or um, six card major by uh, by by your second uh, second bid. So here with a five card major and enough points of the game, you bid three no trump, not um, there are different meanings for all the other bids, for two no trump, for four hearts and for three hearts. So I know a lot of people who've been playing transfers for many years still do not really um, play them correctly. But the right bid here is three no trump. And that's giving your partner a choice of bids. It's saying, partner, we've got enough points for game. I've got exactly five hearts. If you've got three or more, we should probably be in four hearts. Otherwise, pass three, no trump. And on this hand here, South does have, uh, South passes a three, no trump. So West here leads the king of clubs. And let's have a look at this and make a plan here from declarer's point of view. And let's stop to count our top definite trick. So take a minute. And if someone, again, there's not a poll on this, but if someone would like to tell me how many definite top tricks you have here. Seven. Nine. 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 It nine. is nine. Yeah, you've got three spades, three hearts, two diamonds and a club. So you have nine definite top tricks. If I, if you look at some opportunities for more, I can see two opportunities. One is the heart suit and one is the spade suit. Hearts, I, actually in both suits, I've got seven cards, including the ace, king, queen. And I'm hoping that the suit divides evenly, either major divides evenly. And if it does, I hope to make um, one extra spade or maybe even two extra heart tricks, okay? So let's have a look at this and let's suppose that I'll bring up the four hands and you can actually see that neither major is dividing evenly. They're both dividing four, two. So if I decide to win this first trick with the ace, let's suppose I now try to play the hearts and I start with the ace winning in the short hand. I cross over to the queen and the king and I discover the bad news that they're not breaking evenly. So I now turn my attention maybe to spades, see if I can make four tricks there. But again, they they divide unevenly. So I can only make those three spades. So I've made seven tricks and I'll probably just make now the two top diamonds <clears throat> and probably lose all the rest. OK, I'll make my contract, but I won't make any extra tricks. I just make the nine tricks there. Could I have done any better on that? Well, one thing you can do on a hand like this is um, rather than winning that first trick with the ace to deliberately let them win a trick or two. And the, the objective of that is to make their discards harder so that when I then play the hearts or the spades, they'll be in a, a more difficult position about what to discard. It's sort of called tightening up the hand or sometimes called rectifying the count. And um, it's, uh, it, it's a bit like ducking when you've maybe got a stopper but expect to lose the lead. It's slightly different because here you don't need to lose the lead, but it still can be a good idea to duck one or more times here. So let's replay this hand but this time we'll let them win the first trick. And if they carry on, let's suppose we let them win the second trick. And let's suppose we decide to win the third trick. So we win that one with the ace. Now let's play it as we did before by starting with the ace of hearts and then maybe playing another heart. And you can see that as we play the heart, east, the hand on the right here is gonna come under some 
discarding pressure. So suppose they discard a diamond to start with. And suppose you now play your king of hearts. East, again, is going to uh, not be sure really what to discard. From looking at dummy, they might think they want to keep their diamonds in the hope of making two diamonds. So maybe they'll decide to discard a spade. And if they do discard a spade, now you'll be able to make four spade tricks. So you'll play the ace, the king, and the queen. And if you were following, you make an extra trick here with the spade. And you'll make your last two diamonds as well. And you'll make one more trick there. You'll make 10 tricks there rather than the nine tricks you made if you just won the ace of clubs and took your top tricks. So um, it's not possible to say in this situation exactly how many times you should duck. But if we duck twice, we're giving ourselves a chance to maybe make um, up to 11 tricks. Don't duck too many times, because if you do duck, you know, say three times, you might find other people making, you know, 10 or 11 tricks, uh, which you can't make if you've, if you've ducked three times, let's say. So, um, but, but playing, deliberately letting the opponents win a trick or two in this situation can make their discards harder and give you a chance to make extra tricks in one of your majors. Anyone have any comments on that? Um, let's have a look at another one. This was actually one that was uh, played, and I've got the last poll of the afternoon here, which is on bidding here. South opens to no trump, and what do you think North should bid with this hand? So I've got a poll coming out in a moment. Have a little think. And... Okay, I'm going to share those results with you. And most of you here have gone for uh, six no Trump, 54%, with uh, votes for all the other choices, three no Trump, four clubs, four no Trump, or five no Trump. Um, so let's have a look at, um, let's, sorry, let's have a look at this hand. And well, in terms of points here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think. Um, so, You've got um, at least 34 points between you and the South Hand. They've got 20 to 22. You've got 34 to 36. So I think this is a, a clear cut six no Trump here. Um, those of you who bid four no Trump, you might have thought that was quantitative or invitational. But I think that's a mistake because you should have at least 34 points and you should be there. Um, if you bid four no Trump as Blackwood, or some of you may have chosen four clubs, perhaps as Gerber, um, this is not really the hand to be asking about aces and kings. It really is a hand where you you know you you should have enough for six no Trump, but not you don't have thirty seven points, so you should probably just uh, leave it in six no Trump. So let's have a look at this. Um, and let's have a look at it uh, from Declarer's point of view. I will tell you, actually, when I um, actually played this hand, my partner did bid four clubs as Gerber. I showed that I had all the missing aces. And then she bid five clubs as Gerber. And I showed that I had all the missing kings. And you can see that North South do actually have all the missing aces and missing kings. And we ended up in seven no trump here. Um, but let's have a look at this in six no Trump, which is where I think you should be. And let's start by counting our top tricks. How many top definite tricks do you have here? Would you like to unmute yourselves and tell me? Eleven. I agree. It's eleven. You've got three spades, two hearts, four diamonds and two clubs. I'm running out of fingers here. So, yes, you have 11 top tricks here and your contract is pretty certain uh, because even if you lose to the Queen of Clubs, you've got uh, you'll be able to make one club, another club trick here. So you've got a good club suit. Um, however, rather than just immediately trying the club finesse, 
um, it's not a bad idea to play off some of your other winners. And the hope is that they will discard something that may help you. So let's suppose we win that first trick with the king. The way I'm going to suggest you play this is not play the clubs right away, but to cash four rounds of diamonds and to see what they discard. So let's do that. We'll play a diamond. And the suit I'm interested in seeing whether they discard is the club suit, because someone has got the queen. And I think if the person, if someone discards a club, it probably is less likely that they have the queen. So let's um, play another diamond. Still nothing of any interest there. And so we'll play another diamond. And finally, West here discards a club. And I think that means it's less likely that West has got the queen. It's not impossible. They, they could still have the queen, but it's more likely that East has a queen. So I'm going to play this. Um, I can finesse the queen of clubs either way. And I'm going to finesse on the assumption that East has the queen of clubs. So what I'm going to do is cash the ace of clubs and then play a club and... If he doesn't play the queen, I'm going to let it ride. And on this layout, the jack wins. And now if you're counting clubs, you'll be able to draw that last club and you will make all the tricks now. You've got all the clubs and uh, your two aces. So if we rewind this and have a look at the layout, you can see that as I played um four rounds of diamonds west had to find two discards and west may not have realized that um throwing away a club was sort of helping declare giving them some information that clubs was not an important suit to them and it made it therefore more likely perhaps that east had it okay not certain but it it's a good bet that east for example on this hand would be very unlikely to discard a club because they'd be trying to protect their honor. So you've nothing to lose by cashing the four diamonds first, and you may gain something, uh, a clue as to the location of the queen there. Do interrupt me if you have any comments on that. Yes. Tony, yes. if you play with dots, that six of clubs would suggest that they want a club back. Okay, <laughs> so um, the uh, playing a club here, I mean, it, if you play a club, I would hope that your partner would realize that you do not want a club led. All right. They can, cause they can see dummy, right? Oh, and, okay. and you're, you're playing a club because you, you think it's not going to cost a trick and you, you, you do not absolutely want a club. I mean, they, they can't, they can't be anything you've got here that would, where you would want your partner, if they gain the lead to lead a club, to be leading into that long, um, strong club suit in dummy. So, yeah, playing dodds or playing anything else, um, your partner should realise that you're not necessarily signalling for, for anything there. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, have a look at another one. And um, let's have a look here where you're um, in four hearts. It went two hearts. Uh, there was a double over here. North bid four hearts. And... Uh, West leads the ace of diamonds. And we're going to look at this... Um, from Declarer's point of view, and try and work out how many possible losers we have. Well, we're not going to lose any spades because we've got the ace king and the doubleton there. We're not going to lose any hearts, but we're going to lose two diamonds and a club. And it seems that we've got those three inevitable losers and that there's going to be no real way to avoid those. But on a hand like this, um, let's suppose they start off with the ace and king and the queen, which we rough. And you may as well, on, on a hand like this, plan to play off all your trumps. And let's see what happens as we, as we start to draw trumps. We play a heart. West has no difficulty initially discarding a diamond. The diamonds are useless. They've already been roughed. They play another heart, they discard another diamond. And then as we 
continue to play the hearts, West is going to have to discard something. So suppose they discard a club here, and another heart gets played. And this time, Declare has already drawn trumps, but they are deliberately playing out all their trumps in order to make life difficult for the defense. And I do urge you on this, on a hand like this, to not just play out most of the trumps, but if you can, as I can here, to actually play out every single trump so that you don't have any either, but the, it makes it will make it hardest for the opponents to know what to discard. And if you play your final trump now, if you look at this from West's point of view, you can see West really does have difficulty knowing what to discard here. They've got the Queen Jack 10 in clubs and in spades, and they don't really have any clue as to what they should play on that last trump. It turns out that um, if I click on the GIB link, that what they should play is a spade and they should try and keep those three clubs. But they don't have any clue about that. And if they choose the wrong suit, if they play a club here, now when you take your last trick, you take your ace king of spades, and when you take your ace, king of clubs, you can actually make the last trick with your nine because West discarded uh, a club. And you can actually make 11 tricks on that hand. And West really didn't have any good clue about what to discard here. So um, that's a good tip as well. You know, play off all your trumps and, you know, you may find they leave, they discard something to your advantage. By the way... If you're playing this hand, sometimes I see uh, people on a hand like this, they they don't play it this way. They do things like they, they play ace, king of spades and rough a spade. And although you can do that, it doesn't gain you any extra tricks. Normally, roughing in the long hand does not gain you any, tri any extra tricks. And in fact, it also announces to the defense that you have no, that you started with only two spades. So if you at some point play ace, king and rough a spade, West now should be very, um, uh, should get the message and should discard their spades because they know you, you've got no more spades and they should keep their clubs and they would make one more trick there. Okay, any comments on that? And finally, this is the one I sent out in uh, email uh, this week. So it goes one heart, you double, three hearts, four hearts, and let's look at this from West's point of view. And it's similar to the last hand. You start off, let's say, with the ace of clubs. Okay, you win that one. Maybe you carry on with another club. Everyone follows. Suppose you play another club. You play the queen. Your partner discards and uh, declare a follows. And you may as well play another club here. Let's see what happens. Your partner doesn't rough this. Maybe they didn't have any high trumps, but it gets roughed by Declara. Okay. And now Declara starts playing trumps. And as they play trumps, you're going to have to find some discards. And I think the first two discards, you might decide to discard a diamond. If they play another heart, you might discard a spade. And... Here, if they play another heart, you've got to choose what to discard. You've got to discard a spade or a diamond. And what should you discard? Well, this is similar to the last one, but it's different because there are only two diamonds in dummy and there are three spades in dummy. So this is an example where the clue as to what to discard is found by you keeping length with dummy. So because there were only two diamonds in dummy, you should discard a diamond and keep your three spades. And if I bring up the four hands at this point, you can see that Declara, having played off all the hearts, now has three spades left and two diamonds. So whatever they play now, because you've kept your third spade, you'll make one more trick here and you'll hold Declara to nine tricks and they'll be down one. And if I go back to the beginning, you can see that 
the logic that West should use here in deciding to throw away the diamonds and keep the spades is related to how many spades there are in dummy. If, for example, um, if South had had another diamond, ace, king, and another diamond, then they wouldn't be playing this way. They should be planning to rough that third diamond. But when they don't do that and they just play off all their trumps, you should keep your spades in preference um, to keeping your, your diamonds. And that way you can actually defeat four hearts here. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? So um, those are all, uh, you know, tips about um, trying to lead, trying to play out your suits as declare that will give the, the defense a problem. And it's a very good tactic to do it both in no trumps and in a suit contract. It can work out well. If there are no more questions, I'll end the talk there.